So we continue with the elementary school classroom in Islam. And the last important thing regarding the first stanza of this particular piece of poetry is that the poet does see a ray of hope by way of a boy who ironically is not easy to be noticed because the class is not well ventilated, uh, illuminated. We come on, we move on to the next stanza which is actually a description of uh, what the poet sees inside the classroom having surveyed the children. He now surveys the classroom and just as any classroom anywhere in the world the walls are decorated by the charts which have a purpose behind and the purpose is to reinforce learning. However, <coughs> according to the poet Stephen Spender that is, he says in the second stanza <coughs> these charts have no meaning. Let us see how. Let us see how many charts he describes. Let's move on to the next stanza. It says, on sour cream walls, donations. Again, yet another characteristic, abrupt end. On sour cream walls, donations. Meaning thereby that these, that this particular elementary school classroom in Islam is run on donations. <coughs> and thereafter he says, Shakespeare's head, which refers to a picture of Shakespeare a portrait of Shakespeare. It is portrait or picture. Next, this is one, one uh, chart paper that decorates the walls. Second, cloudless at dawn. <coughs> we will read it like this. Second chart paper that has been put up is cloudless at dawn. I'll underline this. Belled Flari Tyrellese Valley. This is the second chart paper that decorates the words. So the Tyrellese Valley. Tyrellese Valley in Austria is where this on the outskirts of which is this school is located. Tyrellese Valley in Austria. Is where this particular school, elementary school classroom in a slum is located. On the outskirts of this on the outskirts or maybe far away or maybe we mentioned it like this Tyrellese Valley is, the, is uh, the next or is the only prominent place next to this elementary school classroom in Islam and very near this Tyrellese Valley happens to be some industrial township on the outskirts of this industrial township is where this particular elementary school classroom in Islam is located so <coughs> he says the second picture this, uh, depicts Tyrellese Valley as it appears early in the morning when there is not even a speck of cloud in the sky and this particular chart, piece of chart depicting Tyrellese Valley particularly depicts bell shaped flowers which are endemic to that particular region as if as if saying that these that that in this <coughs> environment where this particular school is which is not at all conducive for uh, where in the air the soil the environment is not at all conducive for any kind of growth not to talk of uh, the fact that this particular environment here in this outskirts of industrial township is not at all favorable for human well-being these flowers cannot grow so he, these bell the flowery tarelis valley is purposely meant to highlight the contrast between the pristine 
unpolluted environment which prevails there as against the toxic environment where these children have their school. The next <coughs> chart paper that the poet describes, the next chart paper that the poet describes is that of civilized dome riding all cities. The civilized dome. Dome is an architectural design which here is symbolic or suggestive of buildings. So buildings built by the civilized world, so-called civilized world. And these buildings, riding all cities, that is, <coughs> they are among the highest, oh sorry, the tallest buildings in the world. They're the tallest buildings in the world. And these buildings actually house all such organizations, international organizations such as UNESCO, UNICEF, CRY, which are specifically meant for the welfare and well-being of children. So these children, meaning thereby the poet wants to say, the poet wants the rest of the world to consider the amount of huge amount of expenditure that is incurred for the upkeep of these, upkeep and maintenance of these buildings and yet the ground real and yet these buildings do not serve any purpose because malnourishment or undernourishment still exists. So this is the next painting. And the third painting that he describes, sorry, the uh, first, second, <coughs> 